<laughs> I can't take my <laughs> Right, welcome back to the channel, everybody. Uh, in today's video, we will be unboxing this giant box that we got from Vortex. Now, in the box, you would have seen in the title is the new tripods from Vortex. We're super pumped about this. They had some tripods in the past. I've got some of them. I've got one here. I think this is the Summit. Never liked it never really used it so I'm really excited to see what is in the box they've changed the game I think I'm not gonna talk too much let's go um by the way we did set up the top down shot but the box is so big as you can see that it doesn't actually fit in the top down shot so all right let's get that we go okay Lots of protective stuff. First things first, let's look at, there's three models in here. I think let's get them all on the table. Uh, sorry, wait, let's pop you off to the side there. Woo. I should have just done that from the start. Okay, right, we've got three tripods, okay, we have the Radians, okay, which are these two models over here, and then over here we've got the Ridgeview Carbon. Okay, I'm super excited for this one, as I am for these ones, especially this version. So there's two versions of these, let's chat through these quickly. Okay, so the Radian, this is going to be your tripod for going to a match, putting your spotting scope on, spotting with your binos, even using it as a shooting support or shooting out of it, and I think both of these models are going to work fine. Personally, I'm going to go for this option, which is the option with the leveling head. So let's get these out the box and show you guys what we have in the boxes. Okay. Both models. Um, sorry, I'm going to have to just clean up a little bit behind me. That was a little bit louder than I was expecting it to be. So both models come with this super cool handy dandy carry case okay just to make it easier for chucking them into the back of the truck um, so let's start with the leveling head model first now I believe this one has a load capacity of 44 pounds which for us in South Africa is about 20 kilograms which is a lot okay so you could put a heavy rifle in on this and it won't be a problem okay I'm gonna pop the carry case let me just make sure that there's nothing left behind in here okay and that is why we stuck our hand in there there's there's more stuff. Okay, so as you can see, super, super steady and it looks really nice. I like the, the little decals. This is my first sort of hands on. I briefly opened them, full disclosure. When you get a giant box from Vortex and it's been sitting on the shelf for about a month, I had a tiny little peek, okay? And I figured some stuff out. So first of all, for the off the bat, I really like the fact that this whole sort of leveling head can click on and out by simply pushing this button here on the side and it pretty much unlocks this whole leveling head like that. Okay, so I think that's super cool. Now the difference between a leveling head and a ball head, I'm gonna show you guys that by pulling this guy out. Okay, you would have probably noticed in the past when I take pictures on my Instagram or anything like that. By the way, if you're not following us on Instagram, I'm going to leave that down here. Please make a plan. Get over there. Take some cool pictures. There will be definitely by the time this video comes up, there'll be some banger pictures of these on. This is slightly out of the shot. So you can clearly see the difference here, right? Leveling head a little bit flatter. So pretty much the center of gravity is going to come down, but it does have some drawbacks. Now the drawbacks with this is, I believe we have a 14, let me see here. 15 degrees, that's the amount of movement you're gonna have with the leveling head. Now for me, I like this, because 15 degrees is a lot if you're shooting from this as a tripod unit. With the ball head, however, you're gonna have 45 degrees worth of movement, so there's way more movement built into this guy, okay. The problem is when you come off a little bit higher, at least I found that on other tripods, that it's a little bit harder to steady a rifle system. Now, if you're only gonna spot at a match and you're gonna do high angle shooting crazy stuff, then this guy's gonna be the answer for that. If you wanna do like photography stuff, it can even lock off at 90 with the cutouts it's got in there. So, height wise, these go 
super high okay by the way load capacity on this is 25 kilogram i believe that's around about 55 pounds now what's really nice about that also this one pops in and out as the other one does and once you're in there you pretty much just lock that down and that's gonna secure everything in place we've got hooks down here for hanging support bags let's say it is really windy for example and you need to steady your tripod some more you can hook something like that in there and that's going to just stable out your whole thing a little bit more right let's show you guys how tall these are they're ridiculously tall okay you've got four sections that pull out and the locking design is pretty simple both of these are the same so we're going to twist to unlock and they've got really nice graphics on there to show you which direction to do that okay so one section is deployed obviously this is one section that's the second section unlock that guy screw it out unlock this guy pull it out okay as you can see <laughs> it's <laughs> it's pretty it's pretty large okay pull all those out so obviously to deploy them rapidly you can almost put your hand on all three unlock them all at the same time just extend and sort of lock them off as you come back in and then we're going to pop this guy down over here now that's a pretty freaking tall tripod um yeah so obviously you could come in more if you need even more height but i doubt anybody is going to need that i mean the only possibility i could see me using this is if i wanted to stand and shoot at something at quite an extreme angle but uh yeah pretty tall obviously you don't have to go there and then all the legs are going to move with these little shifties uh we can move the legs to pretty much 90 excuse the little bit of um packaging stuff that's on the floor here and if you want to lock that back down boom okay now both tripods come with arca swiss compatibility on the top now that's really cool if you're going to use this with a rifle that's maybe got arca systems built into it or if you want to use something like a, a gamer plate or something for your spotting system let me show you an example of that let's say we were going to use a little plate like this pop that guy in there this little plate is really handy and i'm probably going to use this tomorrow no i can't because at the time of filming this I can't use this yet okay i won't be <laughs> be using this tomorrow but i would have liked to okay now let's say for example i'm actually going to set this up behind me okay so let's say i was at a long range rifle match and i wanted to set up sort of the ultimate little spotting scope slash range finding station for myself i'll just pop my um arca plate in tidy that up now obviously i don't need to have the big arca plate on here as i've got okay because obviously this little section does not ship with the radian however so in this case i've obviously got the sort of gamer plate set up already but if your rangefinder for example let's take this rangefinder now i've already got an arca plate on this at the moment but this plate that comes with the radian okay goes into anything like camera wise spotting scope wise or even if you have the universal tripod mount you could add that to it and pop it straight into the tripod which is basically going to utilize the same arca technology that the plate does okay so let's slide this guy out now what's really cool about that everything just slides in and out so if i wanted to just run my little rangefinder on here i could do the same thing and that is not going to go anywhere okay and if it did got a vortex vip warranty okay so let's pop that down i will show you guys how this holds a rifle we'll be doing some more shooting so if you haven't subscribed to the channel already we're going to take these out today is literally just showing you what you get in the box with these um, price wise i'll probably edit the prices in at the time that we sort of get closer to the launch that we know exactly what the prices are going to be but we're going to be doing some shooting with them running them through their paces and go hunting with this guy okay which you won't want to miss okay so let's get these oaks out the way here for example if i wanted to just to be really cool uh, let's pop that off take this little guy and this will be a good test of the ball head because the center of gravity with this ocarrel ends is not really in the perfect spot okay let's just make doubly sure we are in okay yes okay 
get some tension on that guy and that is rock freaking solid okay if we undo this to do some panning okay boom it's like magic okay now let's have a look at the ridge view now earlier today i showed you guys oh no wait we can't get there yet we have to see what the little bits and pieces were that were in here okay let me feel is there a little zip ah there's a little zip oh it would probably help if you open the whole bag that would probably make our life a little bit easier now we are greeted here with a little zip okay and inside we've got a nice little carry strap got some instructions okay and we always read these uh, we just do it off camera because you know um by the way i didn't show you guys that but the feet okay you get rubber feet on the tripod and it also comes with spike feet which i think is a really really cool thing if you're shooting on hard surfaces like concrete and stuff like that this may be a really cool addition okay and then obviously you've got your little tool pouch it's not actually that obvious but it is really cool that they give you a complete little tool pouch and it's always with you so you put all your little things in there it's in the handy dandy carry case as your condition changes and you maybe want to use the spike feet swap them out for the rubber feet and you're good to go let's put these in because we don't want to not read them down the line now let's jump over to the ridge view so as i said earlier with the little summer tripod it was really flimsy and i think this guy is going to change the game for us when we go hunting you could probably take one of these worth hunting they are a little bit heavy but they're not designed for going hunting okay now i hunt with a match rifle in a chassis system so what would an extra bit of weight would make no difference <laughs> okay so we've got some packaging on the top or just a protective foam and let's pull this guy out okay now off the bat you can feel that it's significantly lighter and then those guys nothing else in the box now immediately the first thing i'm noticing is there is sort of a different carbon weave here we've sort of got that spiral design okay which is cool and it definitely folds up way smaller and it's going to be perfect for putting in the side of a hunting pack or something like that okay so these hold the little legs together so they're not flailing on you what's nice about this one which the other ones don't have it's got a little arm for aiming whatever spotting device you're using so if we take this guy off here okay let's pull this guy out okay get our spotting scope back We'll be able to put our spotting scope in there click tighten that guy up and i can even change the angle on this guy if i needed to okay so this little lever on the left here is going to allow us to get a little bit more vertical height if we need that now this handle here is something called the pan handle for our viewers in oklahoma this is for you okay so as you adjust that guy that's going to allow you complete control sort of 360 or 3d rather of um, the optic okay obviously we haven't leveled this out because we just wanted to get it set up here but that's going to allow us to find game it allows you to control the friction nicely so if you're gritting out an area trying to find animals then that's going to be the way to do that let's see how tall it gets i think it's tall enough that you can actually stand um, and do your glassing which is really cool okay always make sure your arca is clicked in again we're going to have two three sections in this one actually so section one section two and because section one is quite long okay that means all the other sections are quite long and it's going to result in a taller tripod i do not need to push the spotting scope into one of our lights over here because that is not going to do well um okay let's get that guy out make sure we're locked off locked off always check your locks because when you put them down and you walk away then all of a sudden you could have a problem okay so this is tall enough where it's almost too tall it's too tall for me basically but i'm not the tallest person in the world um yeah so there we go it one two three new tripods to have a look at these tripods are available now speak to your closest vortex dealer i'm super pumped make sure you're subscribed we're going to be doing lots more videos again for some cool content on these check out my instagram impact shooting without the g i thank you very much for watching 
Please subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys in the next video.